What do you think celery makes? What sound do you think it would make? A crunchy noise, yeah. So if I'm a cartoon character and I've got a stiff neck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about Foley. I need to take you back about 100 years, though, to a little radio station in America and a young chap called Jack Foley. He was, um, it was his job to make sound effects for radio plays. So, for instance, while the actors are talking, if the person that they were talking about walks up a path, Jack Foley would make the footsteps for them walking up. And what he realized was lots of things make the same noise. So if he wanted his path to be a little bit grittier, instead of putting earth down, he might put sugar, because that sounds a bit like grit, doesn't it? So if you put some sugar down, can you hear how that's grittier? So it sounds more like I'm actually outside. And so what he could do, walk up a garden path, get to a front door, knock on the front door, you'd hear somebody opening the front door, and then maybe, with a little bit of tape, you'd hear a creak. Now, as you can see, I haven't got a door, and so other things make the same noises. Do you understand? So when he was banging things together, he'd get like coconuts. What do they sound like? A horse's hooves. So if he was a horse coming into a, into a radio play, he could do it that way with his coconuts. And he would add do you know the bridles that they wear around the neck? So instead of having a bridle, I've just got some bits of metal. And you could do it like this. So you've got the horse's hooves and the bridle as well, which is pretty good. There was lots, and then he realized that lots of other things make the same noise. So as far as the surface is concerned, I don't know whether you'll be able to hear this, it's just tape. But when you walk on it, Sounds like grass. Yeah. Sounds kind of like grass, doesn't it? And so salt, what do you think that sounds like? This is just a pillowcase full of salt. Kind of sounds like snow, doesn't it? Yeah. And then do you know that sound of snow when it gets really squeaky? Like it makes that funny noise. Well, believe it or not, corn flour, which is what your mum makes gravy with, listen to that. It really sounds like snow, though, doesn't it? And so he could be anywhere in the world that he wanted to be, and although he's just in a tiny little room. Do you like making the sounds? I love it. It's great fun. I mean, and every day is completely different. So one day I can go to work, and I'm a dog. The next day I go to work, and I'm an exploding pumpkin. The day after that I go to work and I'm really sorry everybody if it spoils the illusion for you, but I was Cinderella. When she's dancing around, that was me I'm afraid. The sound anyway, not, I, obviously it wasn't me on the screen, but the sound of her footsteps, I did that. What is um, your favourite film you've worked on? My favourite film? Well, for, um, well I've, got, I've got so many favourite films, but I think because I, I did the Harry Potter movies, I did seven out of eight of them and so that was over like ten years that I, I became part of that family and so I think the Harry Potter movies are my favorite movies that I've worked on and not just because I was working on them for so long they were so exciting they had so many things going on in them that I think they're probably my favorites but I loved Cinderella too <laughs>